I still remember way back when I got Create Studio, when it launched in the spring of 2020, how frustrated I was when I would get to the end of a group and I would extend it and it didn't do anything. I still couldn't figure that out. And thankfully, some people helped me. So I'm going to hopefully help you if you feel the same frustration. Right here, you can tell from the full gray to the transparent um, symbols that are here that this is where the elements in the group end. And extending the group itself doesn't help. So I'm going to put this back. I'm going to open the group. And what I had done is I just went to backgrounds and I knew that this street um, background had a couple elements in it. And as I scroll right here, the street shops. So I knew that it had a couple elements and then I put in two characters. So I'm going to open it. I can either right click and ungroup it. Or sometimes what I just do is I double click and it does it. So these two characters I added, but these three, this background and the two text on the awnings were in the group itself. Um, so what you have to do is you have to extend all of these. So right here you can see, I don't, hopefully you can see this line where it goes from a little bit of a grayer to a dark black. I need to extend these beyond the end of where the group was. So I'm going to select them. And then I'm going to click and drag to the right. Now you can see the end of the group right here. But now if I click and drag, you can see now it's all gray to where I extended those elements. But I didn't extend the two characters, so I would have to go in and do those separately. But now you can see I went and extended the group, but I had to go in the group to do that. And with characters, you can't move them both at the same time. You have to do them separately. So I'm just going to keep them with the same action. Um, what I tend to do is I often just put some extra in so that if I play around with the end of the group, I can move it. So here, if I decide I want it shorter, see how I just got these two arrows? I'm pointing with my finger. You can't see me point. Um, I can click and make it a smaller group, or I can click and go right to make it the longer group. So you can also resize it from here. But now what you have is, we don't have to watch the whole thing, is it's there for the whole duration versus before. Let's grab that really quickly. Where before, it only went to there. And just as a quick aside, if you are in the group, if you want to change the awning names, they set this up so easy and wonderful, just click on the group and look, I can change it right here. So I can change it to create, oh, I don't type well, create studio. and video creators. So now you can see I changed the name without even having to go into the group. So I just moved that unfortunately. So let me center that back because I accidentally moved it. But that's how you extend the elements within a group. You do have to go inside the group because extending just the group itself doesn't work. You have to extend the elements. Hope that helped.